Welcome! I'm going to show you how to edit the standard size pillow mockup in PhotoP. So first go to PhotoP.com, P-H-O-T-O-P-E-A.com in any web browser. I'm using Google Chrome because it worked a little faster and better than some of the other browsers. So if you're having trouble, you might want to try Google Chrome. And then uh, once you've got it up, just click Open from Computer. And then we'll find the mock-up. And then it's going to load for a few seconds. And you should see a layers panel here on the right-hand side. Um, that's where we're going to be doing most of the work. If you don't see the layers panel, you can always go to uh, the window menu up here and click on that and then scroll down to layers and that will bring up the layers panel for you. And then once it uh, opens, you'll see uh, this layer group that says pillow. You want to click the arrow next to it to expand it. And this is where uh, where you'll see most of the stuff we're going to work on. And to place your design, just double click on the thumbnail icon here in the design dash pillow layer. And that's going to open up our smart objects. And we can just copy and paste the design right in here. So to do that, we'll go to File, Open. And then you just want to find your design. And then once that opens, we'll go to Select All, and then Edit copy and then just click back on the smart object tab and go to edit paste once it pastes that um, you can just click on any of the uh, four corners and hold down the shift key to keep it proportional and just drag out to make it bigger or in to make it smaller. And then once you've got that scaled right, you can just go to File, Save, Smart Object. It's going to update the Smart Object. It'll give us a little notification when it's done. There we go. And we can just click the little X to close the smart object. And we can close the original graphics too. And we'll see how it put the design on the pillow that easily. If you wanted to change the color of the pillow, you could do that too. So we'll just click the little eye icon in the design layer to hide it temporarily. And to change the color, you just want to click the thumbnail icon in the color dash pillow layer. And that's going to bring up this info slash properties panel. So you want to make sure the properties tab is selected and that the layer tab is selected. And then you'll see this little color fill box. When you double click on that, it's going to bring up the color picker. And here's where you can choose the color for the pillow. So just click anywhere in this rainbow slider to choose a color. And then to change the brightness and darkness, click in this little box. Or if you know the number values, you can enter them there. And then once you found a color you like, just click OK. You can also um, darken the shading on the pillow by clicking the eye icon in this more pillow shading layer group. You might need to do that if you know you have a really dark or bold color or design. And you can actually edit the uh, opacity, the brightness, darkness on this pillow shading by clicking on the more pillow shading layer group and then clicking the down arrow next to opacity and then just dragging the slider to the right or the left. You 
can also edit the shadows underneath the pillow. So if you want to make them lighter or darker, just click the little arrow icon in the pillow shadows layer group to expand it. And then click any of the shadows in that group. And then click the down arrow next to fill and just, again, drag the slider to the left to make it more subtle or to the right to make it darker. And depending on which mock-up you purchased, you'll have different backgrounds. So if you have different backgrounds, you can just click the eye icon to turn them on. And just you know click eye icons on and off to cycle through the backgrounds. And when you're done, you can simply go to File, Export as JPEG to export it as a JPEG for use as a thumbnail on sites like Etsy. You could also go to File, Save as PSD to save a copy of the original layered PSD file with your design in it. And that's all there is to uh, editing the standard size pillow mockup in Photopea. Please let me know if you have any questions by messaging me at melissabmockups.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll get updates to uh, future videos. And as always, this mock-up and other mock-ups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.